Hi everyone, Vacha here from RecordingStudio9.com and thanks for joining me again today. And today we are looking at vocal pitch correction in Studio One Prime. Now we all know that Studio One Prime does not support any VSD plugin, so any third party vocal pitch correction or any pitch correction is not going to be possible. So you may think, how is this possible? Well, I will show you how. It is manual pitch correction. And I will show you how we're going to edit the vocal track, couple parts of this demo song that uh, myself and Chad from Your Home Recording Studio are collaborating. And I have done a, a very simple vocal take so that Chad can play the guitars into it as a guide. So obviously it's not perfect. Well, I don't have a perfect pitch every time. So this could be a perfect example of how we can manually pitch correct vocals so that it sounds more natural and in tune. We are looking at the vocal track and let's have a quick listen and I'll tell you whereabouts the vocal gets out of pitch twice. Can't wait to meet at next station Okay, right here. Let's have a listen to it. Walking along. It's just really funny there. Walking along. It's got sort of really higher pitch than it should be. For that along. So we're going to fix that one. And the next one is this vocal part here, word here, where it's actually, um, it's lower Walking pitch. Along. And he goes, her direction. So it needs to be higher. Her direction. So we're going to fix that. Let's, um, let's uh, double click to zoom in. And let's... Where are we? At next station, walking along. That's the one right there. Walking along. That's along. Walking along. Okay, so what we need to do is select our cutting tool and we need to cut that word out. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit more so we get further detail there. And so we can just sort of cut it from there to there. So now we have one part here. So let's select that. End. So we can hear how that that word is it's really too high. It's going to click on the I so we get all the information about it. I'm going to slide it up. And down here you can see we have transpose and tune. So let's just select just that word so we can loop that through. Walking along, walking along. So now that we've selected that one, let's see if we can bring down about 50 cents. See if that's going to make a difference. Walking along, walking along. Not bad, not bad. Let's um, hear the difference again. Sorry, it's going to be repeating. So it's it's all manual. So <laughs> it's lots of repeats. So I'm just going to try minus 100 cents. That sounds much, much better. So we might be able to do transpose one key. So I'm out by one note. Skin along, skin along, skin along. Let's get the whole skin along, walking along. That's much better in tune. 
again, you also got to understand that it needs to be, uh, you know, relative to the rest of the music as well. So you just have to use your ears, and you can use the tune to uh, micro tune it. And in this case, I was actually out by one note. So hold note out. So gone out was a bit too sharp. So brought it down. Walking along. That's much better. And to tell the difference, if we go into minus two notes, Walking along. so that's too low. So obviously, as you can see, I'm out by one note. Walking along. And the next one was around here somewhere. Her direction. Okay, her direction. So it needs to be much higher. Her direction. Again. We get the cutting tool and we cut that word out, select it, let's highlight it so we can have a loop. Her direction, her direction, her direction, her direction, her direction, her direction. That sounds much better. Her direction. Okay, so let's close that and have a listen uh, in context with the rest of it. See how that sounds now. At next station, walking along, a direction, looking for smile. Now that's correct, but over here I'm still not convinced here. Walking along. Okay, the next thing we can do is you can see how volume there's a volume change there as well so I might bring that down so it's not too apparent Walking along. that's getting sounding much much better more uniform Walking along. and more in tune so um, maybe I'm just gonna put about 25 cents higher Walking along a direction looking for smile. Okay, that's one more time. Walking along a direction. Okay, so that's how, you know, roughly you can always go ahead and you know tweak more in, in, in sense as fine tuning and transposing and you can cut the words out and also don't forget you might be able to adjust some volume as well. So that um, it doesn't stand out as much, and it's more. Walking along. Yep, that sounds much better, definitely, than what it was before. I mean, I might have to sing all this song again, but um, this is a great example for me to show you that it's all possible. So you can go ahead and tune your vocals if they're a little bit out. Obviously, if there's a lot of them out, manual tuning is a lot of hard work, so you might want to try to record it again and do multiple takes. Comping is another great example where you can do multiple takes of the song and then choose the best one. And then once you've got a good set, then if it's still out here and there in tiny bits, uh, usually beginning of the word or the end of the word, you can go and, and do a cut and split that section and be able to fine-tune it so that it sounds much uh, more smooth and more natural. So don't go drastic with the transpose and tuning because it will sound off. So you really need to do very small, minute changes in your pitch tuning and you will have, um, you know, a perfect tuned vocals. As you listen with the rest of the instrumentation, it will sound really nice. Hope this was helpful. If it was, give me the thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, as always, have a great time making music. And this time, in tune as well. Cheerio.